Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. Don't forget to subscribe. And today, wow, we have to talk about this because there's an AI that can predict what we're going to do next. Now, I've started reading technical articles on this, but Study Finds had a really good write-up on this. And this, quite frankly, I think is going to be revolutionary. I don't necessarily know if it's going to be a totally good thing, but I think it's going to be revolutionary because here's what's going on. An artificial intelligence can now predict your next move even before you make it. And we're not talking about you going to Amazon and clicking buy now on impulse, all those kinds of things. This AI knows how you'll navigate complex decisions, learn new skills, explore uncharted territory, and more. So researchers developed an AI, they're calling it Centaur, that has accurately predicted human behavior across virtually any psychological experiment. And the data set is massive. It even, for the record, outperforms the specialized computer models that scientists in these fields have actually been training and using for decades. That's how good this thing is. Now, it's trained on data from more than 60,000 people making over 10 million decisions, and Centaur is capturing the underlying patterns of how we think, how we learn, and how we are making choices. An AI that truly understands human cognition, and, and think about this, the revolution that this could cause in mental health treatment, education, product design, marketing, you name it. Not to mention battlefields and everything else, but it's also raising questions about privacy and also human manipulation because our digital footprints are revealing more about us than ever before. Imagine marrying this thing into uh, a Facebook that already has advanced algorithms. This thing blows it away, and now it understands way more as we pause, click, interact, type, whatever we're doing. Now, let's talk about how scientists actually built uh, essentially this. They assembled a data set called Psych 101 containing 160 experiments that cover things like memory tests, learning games, risk-taking scenarios, and moral dilemmas. Each ex uh, experiment was cov converted into plain English descriptions that an AI could understand. So in other words, they made it readable for you and I and an AI, right? So rather than building this from scratch, they took Meta's Llama 3.1 language model, that's the same one powering ChatGPT, and gave it specialized training human behavior. So here we are. It's understand, it's trained on human behavior, and they use a technique that only that allows them rather to modify only a tiny fraction of the AI's programming while keeping most of the model unchanged. This process only took five days on a high-end computer processor, and the results... Oh my God, the results are absolutely nuts because when tested, Centaur blew away the competition. In head-to-head -head comparisons with specialized cognitive models that scientists have spent decades training and perfecting, Centaur won almost every single experiment. The uh, real breakthrough came when researchers tested Centaur on completely new scenarios. So, for example... The AI successfully predicted uh, human behavior even when this, the story of the experiment changed. So, for example, the story started as a space treasure hunt. They turned it into a magic carpet adventure, and it understood and it adapted. Or, uh, essentially, uh, when the structure was modified. So, they gave the AI two options and then inserted randomly a third option, and it adapted in the same way we would. And, on top of it, when entirely new domains were introduced, like logical reasoning tests that weren't in its training data, it started adapting. Centaur could also generate realistic human-like behavior when running simulations. So in one test involving exploration strategies, the AI achieved performance comparable to actual human participants and showed the same type of uncertainty-guided decision-making that characterizes how people behave. We're, we're impulsive. We are all over the map, and so we may be looking at two different things, and quite frankly, we may on an urge pick the red pen versus the blue pen, or the blue pen versus the red pen, based on a whole amount of factors, not just the logic of red is better than blue, or blue is better than, better than red. It did that. So, in a surprising discovery, uh, Centaur's internal workings had become more aligned with human brain activity even though it was never explicitly trained to match our neural data. It just started doing it automatically. 
So what does that tell us about our own human programming possibly, right? When researchers compared the AI's internal states to brain scans of people performing the same tasks, they found stronger correlations uh, with the original untrained model, or, or, or with that within the original untrained model. In other words, it had improved itself and become more human-like, is what I meant to say. So learning to predict human behavior apparently forced the AI to develop internal representations that mirror how our brains actually process information. The AI essentially reverse engineered aspects of human cognition just by studying our choices. Were that predictable? So the team also demonstrated how Centaur could accelerate scientific discovery. They used the AI to analyze human behavioral patterns, at basically leading to the discovery of a new decision-making strategy that outperformed existing psychological theories. And so I will end this by directly quoting study finds. I've been paraphrasing them, but this, I think, really sums it up. And I quote, for the first time, we have an artificial system that can predict human behavior across the full spectrum of psychological research with unprecedented accuracy. Whether that development excites or concerns you may depend on how confidently we can ensure such tools are used responsibly. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And the AI is going to know what you do. Same with YouTube, where you should subscribe. And as always, stay safe. Stay online and please, I'm going to say private, secure, and online. Take care.